Rusty Quill Presents Chapter and Multiverse to see you again. I do enjoy these little chats of ours. Oh, of course. I promised to tell you more about those vampire cowboys, didn't I? <laughs> well, after encountering a band of werewolves who need the blood of a vampire for their supposed lycanthropy cure, they decided to set off for the town of Chapter. Their mission? To find a despicable man by the name of Jedediah Fenton. Turn him into a vampire and hand him over to the werewolves. But of course, these carefully laid plans rarely go as one might expect. Hello and welcome to Chapter and Multiverse, the actual play podcast where we explore the same city across multiple parallel universes. I am your game master, Maddie Searle, pronoun she, her, and today we will be continuing our one shot of Vampire Cowboys, a game uh, hacked by myself from Lasers and Feelings by John Harper, with some inspiration from Dead Channel by Grant Howitt thrown in. And before we go any further, I should introduce our wonderful and talented players, Starting off with Lori. Could you please tell me your name, your pronouns, and your character and their pronouns? Hello, I am Lorianne Davis, pronouns she, her, and I am playing Choo Choo Strong Start. Also, she, her. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm a train robber and I l- l- really want to drink blood, but I just can't face it. <laughs> <laughs> and Helen. Hi, I am Helen. My pronouns are she, he, and they. And my character is called Squishy Chewing. (laughs) And their pronouns are they, them. And they are a very old vampire who who does not have an American accent because I can't do American accents. Maybe maybe they're older than America. I think that's, Mm. yeah, that's what Mm -hmm. I'm going with. That's what I'm absolutely going with. (laughs) Nice. And Lydia. Hi, I'm Lydia, pronouns they, she, and I am playing Gunbo Baggins, <laughs> who is charming despite all evidence <laughs> <laughs> and likes oh. guns. And what are Gumbo's pronouns? Oh, uh, uh, he and him. Fabulous. And Ben. Uh, yeah, I'm Ben Meredith, uh, pronouns he, him, uh, and I'm playing Cigar Lion. <laughs> Wonderful. Which is a deep cut that none of us <laughs> noticed. <laughs> pronouns also he, him. Fantastic. Okay, so as we begin this episode, uh, you are riding into town, into the town of Chapter, uh, this very new frontier town, uh, hoping to find the mansion of Jedediah Fenton, who you are planning to turn into a vampire and hand over to a pack of werewolves who need the blood of a vampire to cure their lycanthropy. Um, so as you are trotting forward on your very dressage horses... I, I think trotting forwards is yeah. putting it very strongly. Yeah. I think it's it's one of those things, you know, like a trolley in the supermarket that is always sliding off to one side. It's got like a jiggly wheel. Yeah, like our, all of our horses have that like slide. All of our horses yeah. have jiggly hooves. Them, so you have to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got like yeah. uh, they got to lean. They got to lean, and so you're just constantly turning them back. But it's it makes up for it. There's there's coloured spots of of funny. Funny and mm. uncanny magic spurting <laughs> off them. Wonderful. And um, as you are leaning forward into the town, Miguel pipes up and says, Oh, um, Clarabelle, should we uh, should we tell them about the, the Pinkertons? And Clarabelle kind of sighs and goes, Ugh, I, I guess so. It's probably useful for them to know. Uh, well, since we are in this partnership now, um, you should know that The Pinkerton Detective Agency is after us uh, because uh, we are obviously ostracized from several communities and we the only way we can get food is to steal it. And uh, they caught us and they've uh, been tracking us down across the across the states. 
but uh, so for f- f- for food. Yeah, they. I-, I assumed you'd done some kind of terrible <laughs> murder. Yeah, like I mean, if you introduce yourselves to most communities with "Hello, we were planning to kidnap one of you. We failed. Now, will you kill someone on our behalf?" I can imagine that some ostracization <laughs> might happen. Like that sounds a little more likely uh, than oh, a loaf of bread from oh, wait, when you say child. stealing food, do you mean in the kind of werewolf way of dragging somebody yeah. into the forest and disemboweling yeah, them? Is that is that it? Well, we were stealing food and it was all going fine, but then uh, someone caught us and uh, one of us and she kind of looks over at Kirsty with a <laughs> deadly glare. One of us got very angry and turned into a werewolf and uh, started hurting people. So. Uh, that's how the Pinkertons uh, got us. We were trying to be ethical, but it didn't work out, as is a theme for us, apparently. What part of sneaking into our camp and asking us and kidnapping one of us was ethical? Uh, I guess because we're vampires and monsters oh, and I we see. don't oh, count. Oh, I see. Oh, we yeah. don't count. Oh, no, I, I absolutely get it. Now, you are unfairly ostracized. We are monsters and therefore may be killed with <laughs> impunity. I, I see how this I goes. I think you have a lot of hatred for yourselves in your heart and you've decided to take it out on other supernatural kind of beings. Yeah, I, th- I think there's something more complex going on here than you may admit to. Well, uh, we, we agree agreed to uh, a pact to turn a vampire and drain and not to have some kind of debate about all these kind of complex moralistic things so I think we should stick to our own lanes now. Hey now, I wasn't debating I was just talking, but all I'm saying is that the only ostracization you're experiencing I think is from yourselves. <laughs> well I will take that again. And also from some of I the mean, people that you may from have society murdered. society and from the Pinkerton Detective Agency and admittedly from this group now that you're opening Gambit was to try and kill us, but yeah, yeah. but mainly I, from yourselves. I would consider you ostracized, but yeah, it may, it may start somewhere deep in yeah. your heart. As I said! All right. And then it continues through you hurting other people and, and occasionally threatening to kidnap them and, and disemboweling them. And then and then it's a legal matter of being Tis ostracized. Tis a you problem! <laughs> Very well put, Squishy. Very well put, Squishy. Succinct as always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dirty old man, oh, Squishy. No. Oh no, Squishy yeah, has a lot. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I like to think that it has a very special spelling. Like in Final Fantasy games, they always have a very particular spelling for each character that has a special <laughs> laugh. So, <laughs> I like to think Squishy's laugh is very is particularly spelled. <laughs> All right, uh, yes, uh, you managed to get into the town without any further incident, and... What kind of time is it? Just, uh, hmm. like, do we have a long before the end of night? I think it's about 11pm, it's not... Ooh. Yeah, you've, it's oh, relatively, okay. relatively early. We were up early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were mm. bright and early. Um, we're part of the ro- it was a breakfast party. We're rising party. grind <laughs> train robbers, right? Yeah, We've got a yeah. hustle for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's also it's also winter, I'll say. So um, you've had yeah. plenty of plenty of night time to get your business yeah. oh, done. Okay, cool. We've had a good like six for hours. Cowboys. So. Do you think they call it hustle and rustle? Ooh, ooh, mm. love it. Mm. <laughs> I think they do now. <laughs> <laughs> Joke so clever. That's it's some, not that's funny. That's some merch <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes, yeah, so you are, um, as you come onto the main street of the town of Chapter, you can see that there is a saloon that is bustling with clientele. There is a sheriff's office uh, that has one little candle burning in the in the window. And you you cannot see where the, the mansion is currently. Uh, and so, yeah, what do you want to do? How good do they smell? <laughs> I think the clientele of the of the saloon smell pretty tasty. I think they're absolutely mm. oozing with whiskey and all kinds of spirits. Mm, yeah, they're amazing oh. cocktails. <laughs> yeah. So Choo Choo is now thinking <laughs> their blood is like full of alcohol. It might not taste Ooh. like blood. Mm. So that's mm. says Choo Choo seems like quite an opportunity to chow down, as it were. Um, so Choo Choo is going to suggest, hey, I am. Um, I think maybe we should, you know, no one knows where this mansion is, right? Maybe we should just go into this tavern and, um, you know, ask some people, maybe some stragglers you, sitting alone. You want a drink? But I mean like a capital D kind of, you know. 
You want a drink. A, you want a, a drink. You want a, you want a drink. Just wink. You want a wink drink? I do. I do. I'm so hungry. All I want. <laughs> I just need a wink drink. Please. Will someone help okay, me? Okay, this is starting to sound like something else. I'm not really comfortable with this anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Come along, young whippersnapper. It's it's all right, Cigar. They just mean that they want to kill me. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. It's nothing strange. It was weird. It sounded fine when you said it. But then when Choo Choo got on it, I was like, hang on a minute. The difference is in the charm. It was the desperation, wasn't it? I, I think it I, yeah, I think it was, actually. Yeah. It gave a different tenor to it. <laughs> well, yeah, I could go for a spot of old murder. And I'll turn to the werewolves and go, <laughs> sorry about your ethics. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew, the, the gentleman with the little glasses, pipes up and says, well, it, uh, it would be um, prudent to uh, get a lay of the land and find out uh, some more information about the, the gentleman that we are robbing. So uh, why don't we um, do some schmoozing around the saloon Schmoo. and find out if there's any details that might help us in our little heist we got going on. Uh, does this uh, does this saloon have a beer garden? <laughs> got more of a whiskey yard. <laughs> Maybe with a dark corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I think... Um, <laughs> it's got a gin patio. Ooh, a fancy place, eh? <laughs> yeah, but there might be like a little balcony up on the on the first floor or the second floor since we're in America. Uh, mm. It's a uh, it's a Scotch bonnet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Scotch terrace. I was trying to remember what the word is. For things. All right, so do you enter into the saloon? Yeah. Uh. I'm going to sneak around the back and I'm going to sort of take Choo Choo with... Actually, here's a question for Choo Choo. Have you been hunting before? Or, like, what's your track record like? Mm, I think... Okay, I'm very new. I'm, I'm going to go for a few months old. So I've been hunting a few times, but I just collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get someone, presumably I'm very strong and fast, so it's quite easy, but it just... I see the blood, I smell the blood, <laughs> boom, gone. <laughs> oh, <poor laughs> so <sweetie>. hungry. <laughs> oh, I was to go and Choo Choo going to go around the I back. I was going to suggest, yes, maybe. You, you, need, yeah. you need a buddy so that it doesn't go south. Mm, definitely. Let's see. Why don't you make me a couple of vampire rolls to see if you can be stealthy and one with the night and sneak around the back? Mm. Okay. Um... I think one of the ways that I'm going to try and get close to somebody in order to do this uh, in a subtle way is to start talking to them about scripture and kind of obviously presenting myself as, you know, I'm a preacher, I'm a man of God. That, there's no possibility that I could be some kind of supernatural monstrosity. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I just rolled a five, so presumably I'm behind you in my silhouette, hands <laughs> up, teeth out, terrified. No. <laughs> Yet again, like... <laughs> I rolled a three and a six. The three is bang on. Ooh, wonderful. Ooh. Would you like to ask me anything? I must answer truthfully. I would. How can I help Choo Choo to drink without fainting? Mm, that is a very good question. I am going to say... I'm really struggling to think of something. I had, I was going to ask if maybe Cigar, that's yeah. your name, right? <laughs> I keep like going to say and just having no confidence. Um, yeah, it's a completely it's a normal, average average normal name. name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Such yeah. a normal name. It was so normal. I just didn't remember it. Um, maybe you could like start me off with like a, a, a blood squash. <laughs> Like, if you could ah. mix it with something Oh, sorry, me. I thought you meant just, like, squash and really hard so it spurts everywhere. But... Just open my mouth and hope it goes in. Yeah, I could give you some kind of blood shandy, mix it with whiskey. Blood shandy! That's what a shandy is, right? That's Thanks. definitely water and whiskey. That's what you call a shandy. Shut up. Yeah, I will say, absolutely, um, if you mix the blood with some other liquid, then that will ease the way for poor Choo Choo to start mm. getting okay. used to blood. A strong smelling yeah. liquid. That will mask the smell of the blood. Cool. I'm going to be hammered, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll say with your your, your vampire cowboy success, um, despite poor Choo Choo's absolute terror and lack of stealthiness, you managed to corral a suitable victim and mix the blood with some alcohol and feed it to Choo Choo 
uh, to <laughs> see if that will so work. Presumably, cigars had to like, sorry, this is not drawing a veil, so we can cut this, but has had to suck it out and spit oh. it into it. Yeah, like a like a like a, like a mama bird. <laughs> like a mama a bird. Mama bird. <laughs> yes. Are you my Can't sire? I set up something elaborate with straws? Like a scoop you know, like, Can we just scoop do it? With a pond or yeah, you know when you suck on the end of a the, you put the pipe in the in the fuel thing and then you suck on mm. it and then you, but you don't need to drink the fuel. It just yeah. starts a vacuum and then the fuel comes out and you pour it into the thing. You could do that, but with yeah. this person's yeah. Yeah. siphon off. All of the mm. siphon off mm. some blood into some hoops. cigar. If you're okay with this, Ben, I would like you to be my sire, and I think that's why you're yeah, invested. sure, you're fine. It works. Me. I'm like, thanks, and I'm like, thanks, Dad. Good God, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Siring decisions are forever. <laughs> A vampire's for yeah. forever, not just for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, how is Choo Choo feeling after having successfully ingested some blood? Oh. So, so much better, so much stronger. Okay, right, now I'm thinking clearly. Now I've got my my train wrecking. No, what am I? <laughs> train robbing. robbing, mind on. I mean, this Jedediah, right? Jedediah, that's the name? Okay, whoa, you got... Okay, fine, all right. <laughs> I'm very just intense a good now. Drink. Yeah, you're very intense. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, the others are up, uh, assumedly inside the saloon getting some information, so if we yeah. kind of go back, see how they're doing, and see if we yeah. know where the mansion is. Could you... Could you look somewhere else? I mean, this is oh, getting quite... Sorry. Yeah. Or maybe blink. Sorry. Just remember to blink. <laughs> when you go okay. in the saloon, you got to remember to blink. I know we don't okay. need to, but people get really freaked out if we don't. Okay. Like, like how, how, how frequently? <laughs> like, once every... I mean... One, it, two, <laughs> three, four. Blink. Okay. Two, <laughs> three, That's a lot. That is... Oh. Okay, you're just going to have to not... Try not to count or count inside your head. And try not right, to make yeah, it yeah, so yeah. deliberate. Okay. It looks like somebody's blowing in your eyes every five <laughs> seconds, which is not normal. Incredible. All right, yes, you make your way back into the saloon. And what are Squishy and Gunbo doing in the saloon while well, this has been going on? Uh, Gunbo is charming people. <laughs> <laughs> giving information. I've Duh. just realised that basically because... Gumbo has a vampireness of five, and all the charming things tend to be cowboy. Well, unless, uh, unless he will you always like, fail. This might be a fail. Hypnotizing. Yeah. Hey, you. <laughs> it's a vampire thing. They love it. Yeah, yeah it's true. I'm gonna, it yeah, depends I'm whether gonna... yeah, it depends whether you're going for being genuine and charming and have a, a sparkly personality, or whether you're going for manipulative and sort of, I don't really care about you, but I just, <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, I, I think Gunbo thinks that he's the bee's knees and like he is at best the the wasp's ankles you know <laughs> like, it's not it's not, not named for a pub it's not great and so just hey you and it's just people shuffle away is got a very what we do in the shadows level of charm you know nice. it's yeah. just not it's it. not working, <laughs> except sometimes he magics them and it does work. So he's like, hey, you, tell me where the mansion is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to tell me naturally, don't you? Because I'm so cool. And sometimes it works because he's magic, but it doesn't mean to be. Yeah. yeah. If you're asking about the mansion, please give me a 2d6 vampire roll to see D6. if... So many d6, folks. I'll help out as well. I will also Ooh. be asking about the mansion, uh, but Squishy nice. is doing it by finding the nearest little group of... You know how, like, in any local pub, there's, like, three or four old guys all sitting yeah. together talking about... So um, immediately beelines towards them and starts griping about the old days. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but unbeknownst to them, he's talking about much older days. Yeah. Much, much older. <laughs> yeah. And yet the complaints are very similar. <laughs> um. <laughs> People these days don't know how to read, and if they, but if they do learn how to read, that will make them forget the ways of learning the <laughs> old read off the by wrong heart, things. don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in the gods of the old folk, they don't. I can't remember what they what they made Socrates drink the hemlock. But there's a specific set of words, isn't there, that like Plato has. Where it's like, oh, the young don't respect the old, and they don't worship the right gods, and also the smell strange. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I rolled a three and a five. Do oh, I also right. roll two yeah. d six? 
Yes, yeah, I'll say, uh, because you're ancient and you're going for the ancient people, then that gives you (laughs) preparedness in this. Ancient people, the lesser known song by Pulp. (laughs) <laughs> I want to be like, like ancient, ancient people. people. <laughs> I want to grip like ancient people do. I want to grump like ancient people. The video is just him going around a supermarket with his grand. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, sorry, I want to um... stick and I always do need the loo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maddie, am I rolling vampire or cowboy? Vampire. So you are wanting to roll under your number. Good. I rolled a one and a three. Fabulous. Um, what did you get, Lid? Sorry? Uh, three and a five. And so if I'm rolling vampire, one is a crit and one's a success. Incredible. So please feel free to ask me a question. Oh, uh, the question is, where is the mansion? Yes, I was, I was thinking it might be that. Um, yeah, you absolutely um, managed to find the most talkative person in the saloon who is very happy to just jabber on about whatever they want. And uh, you get them onto the subject of Jedediah Fenton and they're like, oh yeah, he's a terrible man. He's awful. He's been working everyone to the bone. Really, that's that's irrelevant to us. I think that's, that's, uh, that's something that... Uh, just tell me where he lives. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, of course. I can do that. He lives uh, about uh, just on the outskirts of town in the west, uh, directly west from here and uh, next to the next to the cattle ranch. So um, from the directions, you can very clearly work out how to get there. And uh, yeah, you also see um, behind the bar is this very well-dressed gentleman in a oh. waistcoat. And um, as you hear him responding to customers and giving them drinks, you can tell that he has a very English accent, which is unusual in this part of the world. He's probably what, got one of those names like Phil <laughs> or Josh. Dave. Oh, so exotic. <laughs> uh, yeah, he kind of looks over at you and says, uh, I wonder what you might be wanting Jedediah Fenton's address for. Oh, I just always like to seek out the most interesting folk in town. It's useful when you're in a new place to get the lay of the land. And I have to say, you yourself look pretty interesting, sir. How long have you lived here? Oh, I'm a relatively recent transplant, you might say, to this place. Uh, I travel around mm. quite a lot, but... So, and yet you found yourself a job here. Yes, uh, uh, the owner of this fine saloon was looking for a quick replacement at short notice, and I offered my services. So I have nice. uh, How convenient. I have experience at uh, the finest bars, pubs, and, of course, saloons across the world oh across the world oh my aren't you someone that could just sweep a sweet lad off his feet well perhaps <laughs> oh perhaps where is the most beautiful pub that you've ever been i have to say that there was a, a charming place in witherington on sea oh that sounds so exotic <laughs> it was it was precisely so, so fancy <laughs> <laughs> she said, Stevenage. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, um, how is Squishy getting on with the ancient folks? <laughs> well, you tell me. I feel like they're getting on really well. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I-, I would like them to be getting on well so that they can get the... Um... The information they want, though they would probably ask a different question. Yeah. Instead of where is the mansion, they might ask. Uh, they might just ask like what the what the building is like to see if there's like any like back passages and stuff like that. And so they'll be asking about the history of the place and be like, oh, did new residents ruin it? And um, did they add? Did they, did they mess up the? <laughs> the east wing and stuff like that yeah the older folks are very willing to trash talk this very nouveau riche mansion and they're like oh yeah they only built it like six months ago and it's just a monstrosity on the landscape this whole town is uh only two years old but six months that's just that's just too young for my liking it's uh and uh damn he's so fancy he's got like a servant's entrance around the back that uh any folks who aren't deemed fancy enough have to go through and uh, yeah, it's got several stories. It's got like three floors. Then there's a balcony on the top floor where uh, where the bedroom is. And uh, yeah, it's 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 just a monstrosity on the landscape. 
<laughs> I'd like to say that Choo Choo has like entered and is sitting next to you, next to you to listen to this as well because he's very invested in the plan, blinking very <laughs> deliberately and smiling at Cigar every time they remember. Like, Squishy uh, does not notice. Yeah. Squishy is just like... Let's go around the back, yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Squishy is just like, ah, yes, this is my uh, whippersnapper of a friend. And uh, we'll then like communicate stuff Two, about the mansion. Three. Four. Wonderful. <laughs> just at the bar being like, inside your head, choo-choo, inside your head. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got really good hearing as oh, well? Yeah, so I hear you whisper that. Oh, we <laughs> got that. Sorry. And, and on that note, I believe it is time for us to take a short break. We will be right back. And we're back. Okay, you have gathered some information at the saloon from a talkative person and from some elderly gents. Uh, what is your next move? Well, I'm just going to stay here. This is rather comfortable. Tell me more about your <laughs> life. I mean, it sounds so adventurous. Just traveling around, serving drinks. Well, uh, meeting people. I'm afraid that if I told you all the things that I've seen, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, you'd be surprised what I'd believe. I'm extremely gullible. <laughs> <laughs> What a pick well, that's mind. good to know. But uh, I see that your your friends are gathering over there, so you may want to return to them post haste. Choo Choo's looking at you quite intensely, blinking mm. very regularly in Morse code. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I hope that I see you later. Well, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Oh, right. I am. Um, uh, is it hot in here or is it just me? I better uh, sayonara later <laughs> very well i'm not sure how to respond to that but uh i wish you a good evening <laughs> that guy's a thousand percent a frank yeah 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 that's absolutely a frankenstein no that's yeah, a pinkerton just a, just, just a whole frankenstein oh a pinkerton oh okay i was just thinking hmm, okay pinkenstein the pinkenstein uh, that was the detective, it. The supernatural detective agency <laughs> i thought there was yeah there was definitely a detective agency right like yeah it's like a thousand percent i know that but gunbo gunbo yeah. only knows <laughs> he speaks cat. Mm. He does. It's one of his vampire powers. Ah. Nice. Unfortunately, okay. he's allergic. Oh no. To himself. So all he can do is he say, "Please stay cat. away." <laughs> uh, so do we regroup? Yes, absolutely. As you gather up, uh, what would you like to discuss? Juju's quite enthused now because <laughs> Jedediah is our train. And we are going to rob. rob that train. Well, okay. Uh, fortunately, I, I know where the mansion is now. Uh, yeah. And, and also, uh, Choo Choo, we are going to turn that train into a vampire and let they let some werewolves drain that train <laughs> of all of its blood. So I'm not sure how well your metaphor... I, I, I'm, I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> okay. well, hang on. Wouldn't that make him my, my brother? <laughs> Technically well, your son, but let's not quibble over details. Well, hang on. There is an entrance at the back. I think maybe we don't have Choo Choo turning Jedediah, because that might cause, from the <laughs> look on <laughs> her face, that might cause Gone some kind a little of strife. Green. Fine, I'll do it like I do all the difficult things around I here. don't know, I do quite a lot of difficult things. I enjoy it. <laughs> Okay. Stay I'm building, building that you shed. I built that shed. It was difficult, but it was. I felt a great sense of achievement after doing it. That's a, that's it a is mighty a, fine shed. You built the horse yeah. paddock as well. I think the placement might have been a little <laughs> bit off. I have regrets now, but. <laughs> yeah, well, we can see every uh, eventuality. So, but, so but you did a good you. job. I don't know what you thought I was saying. Filthy man. What? Oh. No, I could have said I could have said seen to horse paddock, and then that would have implied oh. two things. But no, I mean you literally did, built I the did. horse paddock. And also, I've seen how you looked at horse. <laughs> Are we going to get this gold or not, young scallywags? Okay, okay, we're going. <laughs> you um, you head outside <laughs> of the. Sun. Ellen, <laughs> content warnings for innuendo? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're just, at this point, it's just <laughs> innuendo, I think. It's not even going to be... It's going to be innuendo throughout. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
as we leave, Squishy Chewing says, as the cowboys say, yo ho! <laughs> <laughs> and the saloon keeper from the back of behind the bar goes, indeed they do, my dear. Indeed they do. <laughs> Cowboys a million pirates of the land. That's for sure, indeed. Wow. Really makes you think. Mm-hmm. It does. And you head outside of the saloon and see that the werewolves are standing very awkwardly just outside. And See, there's no wonder you end up ostracized. You're ostracizing yourself. Just you could have just party. gone in for a night. Good no win. one was ostracizing Mingle. you. You just didn't turn up. You're just a person. You don't even have the ever present predator's hunger that we have to deal with. You could just go in and have a nice time. So ever present. <laughs> blink well uh, yeah I, I would like to refrain from the constant needling at our our statuses werewolves and yeah all right that's fine and uh Kirsty is just clutching the shoulder wound from the silver knife from earlier and it's just like uh, i i'm i'm trying so hard not to transform right now i'm trying so hard oh yeah Right, just come on, try it. Let's go another round. Let's see how <laughs> that works Miguel out for Miguel just you. kind of gently pats Kirsty on the shoulder and says, "No, not the time, not the time." And um... yeah, turn into a big wolf in the middle of town. That'll be an amazing <laughs> idea. <laughs> All right, so you make your way following the directions that you found in the saloon towards the mansion, and it is indeed, as the elderly gentleman said. Um, nouveau riche monstrosity it has all sorts of weird columns and nouveau gothic i love it strange flourishes and Ooh. architectural styles that really don't go together it's just Ooh, um, gargoyles yeah. yeah man this place is really edgar Allan no oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woo! Ben! thank you hey! i was proud of that when i thought of that one i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> this house is designed like gumbo dresses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anything fancy, you just slap it on and hope for the best. Is it fancy? Is it spoopy? I'll have it. And as you know, there is a servant's entrance around the back, and there is a balcony up on the, the top floor, which leads into the bedroom. Can at least one of us do a big vampire leap up to the balcony? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! You do that one where it's weird and they look, well, because they are literally, but the way that vampires jump when it's just like, oh, they're on wires. I would like to crawl up the wall to the balcony, actually. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. That would be great. very cool. Yeah. I think Squishy should jump because I think like that's very Like Yoda, funny. where you're Little like old and oh. old and then you're just like falling Yes, off. exactly. Incredible. <laughs> All right, whoever is uh, making some kind of acrobatic feat, please roll me a vampire check. So we need to be under the number, yeah? Yeah, that, yeah, that, includes, you... that includes Choo Choo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scaling the wall. <gasps> oh, I rolled a oh, six. No. I failed. <laughs> so did I. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the youngest and the oldest. I think what happens there is that Choo Choo is very bravely trying to climb up the wall not doing a great job of it and then squishy makes a massive leap and misses the balcony and just lands directly on choo choo's head (laughs) and both of them crash (laughs) down onto the ground and i think with that spectacular of a failure you make a significant noise and Mm. a servant girl just opens the door and peeks out to see there's so many people in the front front yard of this <laughs> mansion. And she's like, oh, what, what the heckins are you doing here? Uh, the, the, the master will not be pleased to see people trespassing. I, I try and hypnotize, hypnotize the, yeah. the child. Shh, but magic. <laughs> All right, give me a vampire roll, please. And I will say you can do 2d6 for her. Oh, okay, um, cool. Nice. Because nice, you're nice, charming nice. the person. Oh, I am, yes. Uh, three and a two, both of which are under my vampire. Fantastic. Okay. She's double hypnotized. Sorry, one quick thing. Is this person a literal child? Uh, no, she's probably about 19. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. right. Yeah, she kind of sways on the spot for a second and okay. goes... Okay. Is oh. she hypnotized enough to do what I say? Um, yeah, I think so. Hey, uh, how about you go around and open the servant's entrance for us? Uh, all right, sure, I can, I can do that. And Mm. she sort of very slowly ambles behind the building and leads you towards the servant entrance, takes out a chunky key, unlocks it, and the way is open to you. Right. 
And how about you have a nice nap? Oh. And wherever it is you usually have naps. Oh, I'm I'm not allowed to nap. But oh, okay. if I were to have well, a... you should definitely have a nap. If I were to have a nap, I would have it in the dog's bed. Oh, well, uh, if that sounds... It could <laughs> oh. be adorable or sad. Uh, is it because you really like the dog? Are you friends? We're not allowed proper beds, oh. so I have to share with the dog. Oh, good lord. Uh, if, I mean, uh, uh, how about... Have you ever thought of joining a gang? <laughs> Uh, I thought you were going to say union. (laughs) (laughs) It's probably better. I mean, gangs can be more effective. I hadn't hadn't considered it. My mama said that gangs were trouble. Well, I mean, but is it not trouble to not have a bed to sleep in? That sounds sounds like trouble to me. Just like structural trouble. You know, really, that is the, the sort of thing that you should cause trouble about. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I could join the gang. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so are we turning her into a vampire? No! A werewolf? She's a friend! <laughs> my little friend! I'm gonna look after her and build her a nice bed. I mean, okay, whatever Aww. floats your boat. Well, I also like to build boats. I've decided that's part of my character now. Can't just uh, be guns and charm. I've, I've also got <laughs> hobbies. Well, you've always said you were very skilled with wood, so... <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, good. Well, that's the point of a double entendre. It's supposed to have two meanings. Boats and beds, of course, yeah. Boats, boats. Yeah. <laughs> Gunboat. Yeah? Do we not need her to invite us in? Oh, yeah. Girl, could you invite us in? Oh, yeah, sure, please. All of you, come in. Lovely. Great job. And, yeah, you all enter into the mansion. It is the, the servants' quarters, which are considerably less fancy than the exterior. Um, it seems that as little money as possible has been spent in outfitting uh, this part of the house. Uh, there's a room that just has several dogs' beds in it. You <laughs> go past the kitchen, which uh, at least has enough equipment to produce the fanciest of meals, but in conditions that are not necessarily ideal for the workers inside. And uh, Sorry, while we're going through the kitchen, I would like to pick up a big knife mm. because I've only established I have a gun, which is very mm. loud. <laughs> yes, you can absolutely have a, a nice hefty kitchen knife. And so you make your way further through the servants' quarters and come upon a pair of footmen who are just suddenly very confused to see a horde of people entering the mansion being led by this uh, servant woman. We are Blink inspectors uh, <laughs> for working conditions. And we have heard that you have some doozies of complaints. Uh, would you like to tell us? so that we could note them down. <laughs> could you please um, either do me uh, a cowboy roll or a vampire roll, depending on how you're, uh, how you're going about it, to try and persuade these people and add an extra die for charming. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, a three and a one. There you go. Fabulous. Okay, so James and Edward, they look Weird to each names. other and say, Weird names. Mm, actually, you, you know, I'm very glad that you've come because we've been having a terrible time and there's no one we can complain to because the the master just doesn't listen to anything we say and threatens to fire us if we so much as uh, say a peep. So, yeah, this is really great news. Thank you so much for coming. And, uh, yeah, thank you, Constance, for uh, for bringing in these fine folks. This is, this is a wonderful day for us here. I, I do want to know why you are coming in at, like, half eleven at night. Surprise inspection. <laughs> and a follow-up question. Have you ever considered joining a gang? <laughs> or mm. a workers' union? <laughs> well, uh... Blink. Yeah, there... <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk to people. <laughs> well, Edward, I, I've never... Um, have you ever considered joining a gang or a union? Um, uh, no, James, no, I haven't. Uh, this is quite a... Quite a proposition um there you do say that there is safety in numbers do you not yeah well say constance why don't you talk to these nice gentlemen about the new gang prospects while we go and have a nice conversation to mr jedediah talk to him about these uh, working conditions that we are inspecting oh of course i'm sure that i can uh, do a fine job of explaining our own working conditions to my colleagues who i work with no, I was talking about the gang thing, not the... Oh, the gang thing. All right. Or I... just a, a union. 
that's what you were calling it, Squishy, right? It's, it's like a gang of, of workers? Yes, a workers' union. Wait, I, th- I thought they would join yeah, us. Yeah, I mean, they can we, join us, but there's now quite a lot of them. But are we a union? So quite a, well, we could be a union. I don't know what a union is. I, I, think, I think it's ethical. So, so some kind of werewolf stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, it is not a werewolf thing. A oh. union is where lots of people come together to beat up their boss. Oh. Oh. oh, well, why don't you join the union and come with <laughs> <Yeah>. us? <laughs> All right, so Constance takes James and Edward off to the side to um, discuss with them the benefits of unions. She doesn't really know much about unions, so she's kind of making it up on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, nor do we, quite yeah. honestly. <laughs> and so you you have free reign to go into the main part of the house. I, I'd rather go up the back servant's entrance into the master bedroom no bumping into anyone it's a very good point mm. yes but this house is there like a mm. a warren of corridors for unseen mm. helpers versus the mm. nice bits of the yeah house i will say that there is a there is a back staircase uh, that you can go up and as you make your way i would like everyone to make a vampire roll to see if you can be stealthy about it uh, at this point, I would like to claim prepared, given that we have actually snuck our way in and are in here sort of with permission of the individuals who use yeah. it. Yeah, oh. go for it, yeah. Everyone can roll 2d6. All right, then. I rolled a three and a four. I also got a three and a four. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I got a five and a four, so I did roll over It's Cowboy. vampire, so you're rolling under your number. Oh, no, I failed. <laughs> oh, no. So did I. I didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, I did great. I got a crit. <laughs> Oh, well, you can ask me something if you like. Is it? Is it, why do my friends suck so bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're vampires. Hey, um, hey. Lovely. Uh, I suppose it's, is Jebediah in bed? Yes, he is in bed. All right, he's useful. We can sneak up. Cool, 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 cool. Well, unless you've woken him up with your non-sneakiness. Claring about. <laughs> so as you make your way up the servant staircase, you make your way onto the top floor, but as you open the door to the top floor, I will say that both Choo Choo and Cigar at once knock over different vases simultaneously. (laughs) Uh, And so there is an almighty clatter and crash as these beautiful vases are, or vases, since we're in America, (laughs) are destroyed. Vases. Gosh damn vases. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, you sound so French. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear uh, this, a scream of a woman coming from one of the rooms and she rushes out. It is a very fancy looking lady with a big bustly dress uh, who has clearly been up Ooh. late writing because she's got ink stains on her hands and she mm. cries out what on earth are you doing in my house my husband Jedediah will hear about this oh dear mm-hmm. uh, art appreciation <laughs> <laughs> well, are you appreciating art by destroying it that's the newfangled way <laughs> don't you know what they're doing out in the <laughs> fanciest bits of uh, Paris I, I don't care what's happening in Paris. I only care what's happening in my own front yard. And clearly there are all sorts of strangers mucking about. Gunbo looks panicked at the others. Uh, but- Choo Choo's just focusing on blinking because we're in front of a human now. Mm. Like- hey, Choo Choo. Uh, yes. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think I'm ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. Choo Choo's going to just obey, obviously and launch at this woman's neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a vampire roll, please. Oh no. I would oh like God. I would like to claim helping Choo Choo. Sweet, um, yeah. As her sire. Are you are you coaching me through it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can absolutely Yeah, you can absolutely add uh, a die to Choo Choo's roll by helping. <gasps> I got a 6 first, but then I got a 1. <gasps> Yay! Nice. Oh my gosh, I'm going to kill my first person. <laughs> All right. Please describe to me how you murder this innocent woman. Oh no! <laughs> well, she's no, she's so, she's rich. Choo-choo. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you're just gonna yeah, eat fine. the she's rich. A billionaire, Isn't yeah? this what we've all been talking about? Yeah. Isn't yeah. it right to live your values? Right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So taking courage and self belief from her sire cigar. <laughs> Very normal. Choo choo. 
starts right. Is that was that her surname? Start strong, has a strong start. Uh, launches herself teeth first uh, at the jugular of this woman. There's a moment where the smell hits her, and she she might she feels like she might go, but she just focuses on how proud she's going to make cigar if she does this <laughs> and um they grow up so fast yeah i'm trying to make it not rude it just sucks the life <laughs> out of her. wonderful yeah. yeah the the wonderful life-giving blood flows into your mouth and gives you sustenance so like that you have never experienced before and as this oh woman... my gosh chucha does like a, a victory lap like up around the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> and back down like, i feel it was pure. It wasn't diluted. It was all. I did it. Quite loud. <laughs> like a puppy running around on yeah. the ceiling. <laughs> and so um, at this point, you hear a kind of grumbling sound coming from behind a door. And very slowly, um, some hefty footsteps start to make their way towards you. And the door opens, and you see this absolutely hulking muscular man but with the Full most but with the most pathetic little face with terrible sideburns that you've ever seen oh. and at this point we're going to end the episode there <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to chapter multiverse and our vampire cowboys game uh, i would like to ask each of our players where we can find them on the internet and if they have anything to plug starting with lori i am on twitter at lori tweets and i guess i should also plug our other uh, rusty quill show which is enthusiasm which is just <laughs> To Helen talking to a variety of lovely guests about wonderful, exciting topics. Fantastic. And Helen? Uh, you can indeed find me on Twitter at Electo101. That is A L E C T O 101. And yes, listen to Enthusiasm. It's great. Brilliant. And Lydia? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Lyd Nicholas. And on Twitch, you can find my chickens, Urban Chooks. Bab and Ben. Uh, I stream every Sunday with my brother on twitch.tv forward slash the brothers Meredith. Thank you again for listening and we hope to see you next time on Chapter in Multiverse. But until then, from all of us here in the space between worlds, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Chapter and Multiverse is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It is directed by Maddie Searle and produced by Natasha Johnston with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. The Eternal Tavern Keeper was played by Kareem Cronfling. This episode was edited by Elizabeth Moffat, Maddie Searle and Kathy Rinella, with music by Nicova Teze. Thank you for listening.